What's up, guys? My name's Jonathan. This is my Canyon, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Canyoneer. Now, today we've got a special historical episode where we're going to be recreating the Battle of Valcor Island. Now, if you're not familiar with the Battle of Valcor Island, I'm going to drop some information about it in the description below. It's a naval battle that took place in the Revolutionary War between the American Navy, American Navy, kind of a ragtag, uh, makeshift kind of a navy, um, versus the British Navy. And they didn't really have a lot of giant cannons. They had a few with this naval battle, um, but mostly what they were going to be using were you know, muskets and small cannons like our swivel guns, deck guns, and things like that. It's mostly what were found at that particular battle. Now, they armored up their ships, the Americans did it anyway. Um, it's kind of a makeshift navy. I'll throw you guys in a picture of one of the ships in a second. The USS Philadelphia is kind of one of the most famous ships from that particular battle. Um, and they armored it up with things called fascines. Now, fascines, if you're not familiar with those, it's a big giant bundle of sticks, green saplings that they would have cut, freshly cut, bound them really tightly together, and stacked them along the uh, edges of the ship to hopefully deflect from musket balls um, and small cannon shot, canister shot, and things like that. Now, we've armored up our stand-in pirate ship. If you guys didn't catch that episode, super cool. I'll throw a link in for it uh, somewhere up in here. Um, super awesome. If you guys haven't checked that out, we're going to be armoring that up today with some fascines. And we're going to be shooting it with all kinds of different projectiles just to see if those fascines will stop those projectiles at all um, or if they're going to just sail right through them. Now, keep in mind, they are meant to deflect musket balls, so we're going to be using those. But some of our cannonballs, I don't know. We'll find out. So I'll meet you guys over at the range. We'll start loading this thing up, and we'll start shooting those fascines. But if you haven't done so already, while we're headed over to the range, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. You guys are going to want to keep up with all the cool stuff that we're going to be shooting out of our cannon here in the future. And I've got those discarding sabos printed, and they'll be coming out for you guys in a future video pretty soon. Now I'll meet you guys over at the range. We'll get this thing loaded up, and we'll start shooting those fascines and see how they do at stopping some cannonballs. Okay, guys, so this is our target today at our stand-in USS Philadelphia, and it's armored with things called fascines. So fascines are bundles of saplings, green wood, green sticks. So we've got our stand-in pirate ship. If you guys didn't catch that video, it's super awesome where we shot our pirate ship with different kind of projectiles. But today our pirate ship is going to be our stand-in USS Philadelphia. So we've got it armored up with fascines, bundles of green saplings that I cut yesterday and we bundled up together really, really, really tightly. Now they would have bundled them with grape vines and things like that, but we just use string, but they're super, super, super tightly bound together under a lot of pressure. So I think these things, hopefully, will stop small arms fire is what they're meant to do. Um, but we'll find out today if they stop a small cannonball, which is what was commonly used um, in the Battle of Valcor Island, which is where this ship got famous at. So this is our stand in USS Philadelphia. We're gonna go load up some cannonballs and see what happens. Okay guys, so for our very first shot, we're gonna load up a stone cannonball. We know these will not go through the side of our stand in pirate ship or the USS Philadelphia today, but we'll see if the fascines will stop these before they even get to the hull of our ship. So let's load this up and let's find out. Well, let's go check it out. I saw we hit it, but I don't know if they stopped it. Let's see. Okay, so where did we hit it? Right there. So you can see where we hit the fascines. It looks like they went in a little bit. Let's go around the back and see. Nothing. So it went through on our cannonballs. Um, our stone cannonball went through on our pirate ship episode. But here, it doesn't look like it went through, so we'll have to take these fascines off at the very end and check and see if anything got stuck inside. Ah, we'll look through from the side here. It doesn't even look like they went through and hit the wall at all. If it did, yep, yeah, right there. I can feel a little dent. Um, you can maybe see that on the camera. It's a little dent. So it looks like this thing does a significantly good deal of stoppage when it comes to stopping a stone cannonball. So let's load up a lead cannonball and see what happens. Okay guys, so our next shot's gonna be a lead cannonball. We know these will sail straight through the side of our pirate ship over there, our USS Philadelphia today. So let's see if our fascines will do anything at all to slow this down. So let's load this up and see what happens.
Let's go look. I know we hit it for sure. So let's check it out. Don't know if it went through or not. Didn't see anything behind. But, ooh. Let's see. Let's just walk around back and look. Start with. Oh yeah, right through. Didn't even slow it down. Right into the tree. So a lead ball is in no way, shape, or form slowed down by the scenes. You can see it went straight through right there. So those are in no way, shape, or form to put the sticks out. Yeah, it just sailed straight through there. Okay guys, so for our next shot, we're gonna load up some bar shot. This was a naval battle after all. We know this won't go through the side of our ship over there, but let's see what'll happen if we armor it up with some fascines to see if this will just bounce off the surface of the fascines or if it at least make it through to the surface of the USS Philadelphia. So let's load this up and find out. That was a really nice blow out of sticks. So I'm excited to check that out on the high speed. So let's go see what happened to our fascines and if it went through to the back side. Oh, we can see where we hit it right there. That's where it went in, maybe, hopefully. A bunch of nice splinters and stuff. Let's check out the back side and see what the damage is. There's part of our bar, it broke. So obviously something happened. Oh, and it put a big dent in, so it went right through as well, or almost through, right down there. So that's where that one hit. So our lead ball hit there, and our bar shot hit there. That looks like it might be the other piece of lead stuck in there. We'll have to dig it out when we pull this thing down and see. So that looks like it might be the other piece of lead. So fascines don't really look like they do too much to slow down bar shot. Let's load some chain shot up and see what happens. Okay guys, our next shot's gonna be chain shot. Meant to take down riggings and sails and mast and stuff of ships. So this is once again a naval battle. We'll load this up. These don't go through the side of pirate ships, our USS Philadelphia over there. But let's see what'll happen if we armor some up with our fascines, see if this will even make it to the wood. No, we hit it for sure, but I don't know what happened. So let's see. Bar shot will go through, chain shot. Something went really high up there and split some wood out. Maybe that's what that was. I'll have to look. Oh, that may have been what that chain shot was. Yep, that's exactly what that was. There's the chain right there. Well, it embedded itself in that wood. So I don't know if the fascines even slowed that down or if we even hit them. So we'll have to look on our high speed and see, but it's embedded itself on the other side of our board there. So maybe chain shot will go through pirate ships. It won't go all the way through, but it'll for sure put a dent inside. So our USS Philadelphia would at least be leaking here. The fascines, if we hit them at all, didn't seem to slow it down too much. Okay guys, so for our next shot, we're gonna load up some muzzle loader balls. These are 45 caliber. This would have probably been the most common weapon used at this particular battle of Valcor Island because it was a naval battle, but they didn't really have a lot of big Navy ships, so they would have been shooting at each other with you know, small cannons like ours or swivel guns or mostly just muskets. So we're gonna load this up in our little canister here, put a lid on, and see what happens against our stand-in USS Philadelphia armored up with the scenes. I don't think these things will go through at all. They don't go through on our regular hull. So let's see what they do to our fascines here. 
Uh, I don't even know where we hit them. So I'll just give you guys an overview of the, the scenes for the moment. And we'll have to check out the high speed to review to see where, we, if any, we hit them. I'm sure we did. But let's walk around the back and see what happened. All right, so we'll take off the fascines and see what happens, see if we got any dents or if there's any muzzleloader balls inside. Let's load up a steel cannonball. It's gonna be our stand-in for our iron cannonball if they would've used it at the time. And I know that's gonna sail straight through the fascines, but let's see if it even slows it down at all. Okay guys, so for our last shot against the USS Philadelphia, armored up with our fascines, we got a steel cannonball. We're gonna go ahead and see if this will go through our fascines. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it'll sail straight through the side of the USS Philadelphia, but let's see if they slow it down at all. Not in the slightest. I know we hit the high spot or the thick spot of our fascines where we had it aimed at. So I can see our beautiful little hole there where we hit right in the thick spot. So there's the hole where it went in. Look around the side here. And I'm sure that went straight through the back end of that tree. So let's pull the fascines off. I'll show you guys what it looks like on the inside of the wood as well as what that tree looks like after everything hit it. So I got to looking around a little bit though and I did find a muzzle loader that hit right there on the leg. You can see where that hit. So let's go ahead and pull these off and see what it looks like underneath. Okay guys, so this is what the fascines look like on the back side after we pulled them off of the board. You can see they're all just shredded and split to pieces here. So this is what the board itself looks like. Oh, here's a piece of our stone cannonball broke into bits, little tiny pieces. I wonder if that was stuck inside the board or not. It just found it on the ground here. But as we move on up, you can see they at least slow some stuff down. I'm sure they don't slow the steel cannonball down. That's where that hit, right through the center there. But our stone put a big dent in. I bet it's stuck inside of there. I bet that's what that came off of somewhere. Um, and there's our chain shot. Let's knock this down and see what's on the other side of it as well. So here's the splinters on the other side. There's our chain, it went halfway through. Um, can't really see anything else on the other side of here. Okay, so that's all the splinter damage. And here's our tree. And if you look straight in the center of our tree there, there's a beautiful steel cannonball stuck straight in the side of that tree. So that's a pretty cool thing to see. They're perfectly in shape caught right in that tree there. So the steel cannonballs were not slowed down at all whatsoever by those fascines. Stone looks like it slowed down pretty well, at least enough to break it. Chain shot, bar shot didn't seem to matter. I'm excited to check out the high speed and see if the muzzle bu loader balls will slow down. And I'm probably going to dig this thing out of the tree. Okay guys, we got to looking around before we left and we found the splinter that embedded itself inside of this giant rotten log. There's another one right there. Oh, there's a big one down there too. So splinters flying off that wood with the fascines and things. That's a little scary. You can see where they hit and what they'll do to it, even a piece of wood. Some big ones like that would could definitely take you out of commission. Well guys, that was super fun. I'm not really that surprised that the musket balls didn't go through their fascines. That's basically what they're meant to do. The stone cannonball looks like it lost just enough energy when it was going through that it broke apart on impact. They are fragmentation rounds according to the historical record. But everything else seems to just sail right through. We did catch the bar of the bar shot. That was super cool. Um, looks like I'm going to have to redesign those though so they don't blow apart for our future uses. Now, if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Um, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button while you're down there. And go ahead and drop me a comment and let me know what your favorite shot was. Let me know if you guys have any things that you want to see us shoot with the cannon, things that you want to see us shoot out of the cannon, drop those in a comment below. Um, if you guys have any questions about our cannon, drop it in a comment below as well and I'll answer those for you. If you guys also enjoyed this historical style recreation, let me know as well. Let me know if you guys have any more ideas on historical style things you want to see us shoot with our cannon. I'm thinking an ironclad ship might be a good one for a future video. Now once again guys, my name's Jonathan. This is my cannon. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you guys on the next episode of The Cannoneer.